you're here because you want to learn how to edit videos vertically, but you only have iMovie and you don't think you can do it. Well, I'm here to prove you wrong. I'm going to show you two quick ways to be able to edit all of your videos vertically inside of iMovie without those stupid black bars on either side when you export. Are you guys ready? Let's go. Hey everyone, it's Shelly. Welcome to Shelly Saves the Day. On my channel, we do tech explained simply and video editing made easy. So if that sounds good to you, make sure you hit that like and subscribe and ring that bell so you're notified of when I put out new videos. I would love to have you be part of the squad. And I do wanna give a special shout out to all of my channel members, especially my platinum ones. You get on-screen mention in every single video. And if you're interested in becoming a channel member, make sure you check out the video on my channel with that join button down below so that you can understand how to be part of the membership. Last thing I want to mention is if you like that like subscribe animation or you want to learn how to edit this year in iMovie, I've got a course out now called iMovie Made Easy and you can check it out in the information down below. So let's get into today's video. We are going to tackle a couple of ways to edit videos vertically inside of iMovie. Now this particular video is for all of you using iMovie on a laptop or a desktop. If you're using a an iOS device and you still want to work around. I made a video about this already. I will link it up here in the cards about how to edit vertically in iMovie on iOS devices, okay? Now I have already made a previous version of how to do vertical videos inside of iMovie. And if you didn't catch that one either, you can catch up on that as well. I will link that video up here in the cards as well. So the first thing that we're gonna do when you're inside of iMovie, this should look very familiar, is usually the create new or work on existing projects. Typically you would go into the screen and when you hit create new, you're gonna see two options which are going to be create a movie or create a trailer. Now, if you were in the iMovie Made Easy course, you would know that sometimes I refer to there are secret things that are available as options that are only available if you go to the menu button above and not inside of like the timeline or command keyboard shortcuts. So this is one of those times. We're gonna go up to the top and we're gonna go to iMovie and then we're gonna go to file and then we're gonna go to new app preview. Now, one thing about doing this is that there are limited feature sets inside of here. They're not going to be as many transition. There's not going to be as many, um, you know, special effects, titles, effects, anything like that. But this is why you're going to want to do it. Okay, we're going to hit OK. And then usually this was done for developers to kind of look and go in and play. But we can use this as a secret hack for ourselves so that we can edit vertical video course we're going to need some vertical video so let's go ahead and grab a couple clips and I did already create a couple of short like five second videos so let's go ahead and do that we're going to create these and bring them in now one thing that's really interesting is you must start with a vertical video otherwise it will not create a vertical video I'll show you what I mean here in a second if you actually start with a full screen or a landscape video, then it will create a project based on that. So if we start with a video that is vertical, you're gonna see your preview window over here on the right hand side over here. You're gonna see the preview window over here is actually letting you see the entire thing. Now, typically what would happen is you're going to see the black bars on either side. But if you were to export just this one clip itself, it's actually going to create a vertical video. So not only that, if we take this landscape video and we also bring it down into the timeline check out what happens here once we go here we're gonna bring down this timeline just a little bit so you can see it so you can see it transfers from a full 9 by 16 into a cropped but you can actually go up to the crop icon up here which is highlighted and then you can change where the crop is so we can actually just kind of center it where we want it like there and then when you go through and play it you'll see that this is also vertical so it doesn't really matter what I'm saying so let's go ahead and export this you guys are getting the idea and the thing that we're gonna do um, we're gonna say test and in the resolution just make sure it's on the highest that you can set it at and then I like to do not compress faster but better quality we're gonna hit next you're gonna put it someplace so you can save it. And then I'm gonna open it up here so you can see what it looks like. Now you can also see here, we took a vertical clip and then we had a landscape clip that also then is gonna be turned into a portrait based on cropping. Now, if we take away this one, 
it still remains as a 9 by 16 or a portrait orientation. And I think that's interesting. You must start with a video that is vertical for the project to start that way. If you go the other way, it is going to create a project that is actually the size canvas of what you have. So I think this is really interesting because then if you drag in the vertical clip after that, this is what you would typically see inside of iMovie where you're going to see the black bars on either side, which is what we don't want because when we export it, then your only options are to try and um, clip it or um, you know crop it in afterwards or try and do some sort of zoom cropping with the options here where you're gonna see some sort of like crop to fit or you know um, crop to fill or, or fit and it just is never gonna look right because it's gonna be zoomed in and it's not gonna look right. Now, if you were watching the previous version of how to edit uh, vertical videos inside of a landscape orientation here, what you would see is what we would do is take this clip and we would go up to the crop option but we would actually just rotate it. So if we rotate a video clip um, such as Oops, we got to do it to the one that's actually vertical. <laughs> Let's come back here. It's this one. So here you can see what it's done uh, when you do the crop. That's obviously not what we want. And we could try and do some sort of, uh, you know, Ken Burns where it, but obviously that just, that just doesn't look right. And you certainly don't want a video of just like some of my face. So what you're going to do is rotate this video, rotate the whole clip that way. The clip is on its side and now you can continue with all of your edits and then afterwards, um, let me show you what this looks like. We're gonna delete this. So this is a vertical clip and it is now rotated on its side and if we export this clip, let me show you what that looks like. All right, so I think those will be exporting here. Our little wheel is saying it shouldn't take very long at all. Let's go ahead and show you what those videos, the first two look like. So here is that first one and you can see that the whole thing is vertical and this was the second part of the video with the landscape video where we cropped in and this is the first part where it was shot actually in this orientation. So this video is good to go and you notice that there's no black bars on either side. It actually exported it as a vertical video. And if we go into the information about this particular video, uh, here we go, if you can see it hopefully. It is saying that this one has orientation of a 608 by 1080. So it did export at a 1080 um, size. It did crop it a little bit, but this is a full vertical video. And then you could use this on whatever site you want. Now, in comparison to the test two, what we're gonna do, we're gonna open it again with QuickTime. You're gonna say, oh, look, this one is still actually on its side. What good is that? So what we can do inside of here, go up to the option menu for QuickTime. And what we're going to do under the edit is we are going to flip this to the left. There we go. Now it's perfectly upright. It's still vertical as you're playing through this clip. All vertical, all still edited inside of iMovie. Okay, so that's how we do that. Now, by the way, one thing I wanna mention on that is if we go into the get info on this guy, what's actually really interesting is unlike the other one, which actually was cropped a bit, and I think that was due to my settings under video. Um, this one, when you look at the information under it, it actually does say that it's 1080 by 1920, which is the full nine by 16 crop that we wanted. So just as a interesting tidbit. Now, if we head back into iMovie itself, we're gonna delete that. Remember, as long as you start with a clip that is of um, a vertical orientation, then any clips that you put in afterwards will also be vertical. Or conversely, if you start with one that is in that landscape one, it is going to create a video that is that landscape or 16 by nine wide orientation. So here's what's interesting about this. When you come into things such as titles, you're still now going to be able to do titles, but keep in mind that unlike before where you would probably have 30 title options, here you're only gonna have like 12. So it's gonna be greatly reduced, but if you can live with that and you still wanna edit inside of iMovie, this is a way to do that. So one other thing that's really cool is in here, you can say something like, hello world, and you could actually start to um, make your titles here inside of iMovie, whereas before, and check this out, you can also drag and drop your titles to lower on the screen so we can actually move them so they can be here. And, hey everyone, it is there we go. How cool is that, right? 
Now, if you go look into the backgrounds and everything, you're gonna find that a lot of these things aren't really gonna work as well for you, but we could certainly try. We could try to split a clip here. Um, we're gonna do Command B for blade. Let's try and do a page curl. It may not look like much of anything because of the fact that they look exactly the same, <laughs> but let's see if we can do a transition here. Is a vertical clip and, and it did it. So it still did the transition here, which I think is pretty awesome. So there are some things that you can do inside of iMovie still, which is really, really awesome because before you couldn't really do much of anything. And if you were rotating on your side and editing that way, then all of your titles and everything were gonna be coming up the side and it wasn't gonna look right. So this at least gives you some options, not full options, but more options. Bam, now in your arsenal you have two different ways that you can edit your videos vertically inside of iMovie. How easy was that, right? Oh, I sound very Ina Garden there. But if you like this video, make sure you hit like, subscribe, ring that bell so you are notified when I put out new videos. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you want more of me, you should come find me on social media, it's a good time. Twitter, Instagram, you know, TikTok, love TikTok, come find me. And again, special shout out to all of my channel members, especially the platinum ones for the on-screen mention. If you wanna be on-screen mentioned, that's not even correct English, uh, in my next video, make sure you join the squad and that will happen for you. And if you're looking to up-level your editing game, perhaps get that subscribe animation. By the way, if you're enrolled as a student in my iMovie Made Easy course, you get that subscribe animation as a bonus, as a free gift from me to you. You don't even have to buy it. So I hope this video was awesome for you. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I will see you in the next one. Bye.